Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to show you how to figure out why that machine blue screened. There are two ways to do this. One is to use the Windows uh, debug tool. The problem with that was you didn't have access to it until just recently because Microsoft kept it to themselves. So we're going to go over that and that's really the focus of this. But if you don't want to go into that, you could just start off with the reliability history and it might tell you. So click start, type in reliability history. And whether this is on a server or a PC, as long as it's, uh, I think it's uh, 2016 or newer, so you can go through here and you can see why things crashed. But blue screens are often not captured in this. And that is problematic. So what you have to do is use the debug tool that Microsoft used to have available only to itself. When you have a machine crash, it usually creates a dump file. And that dump file is stored in C, Windows, Mini Dump. There it is. And you can see here, we've had four crashes on this server from 2021 through 2023. This dump file contains all kinds of useful information. Uh, the problem is you didn't have an analyzer. You didn't have a tool that you could open it with. If you just try to open it with a notepad, you get gibberish. So that was a problem, but Microsoft has made their dump analyzer tool available. And how do you get to it? Well, there's two ways. It, the first way is to go to the store. And you'll see in a second why you might not want to do this. So it's WinDBG, WinDebugger. Click on that. And you see it's got the WinDebug preview. Seems odd because it's when you look at it it's a couple of years old and there is a newer one which Microsoft has made available here so I'll put the link in the bottom and it'll also be in the article that we're going to write about this but you can see the address up here anyway you can download when debug this is the release version you can see that well by today's date that's pretty current and uh, all you have to do is launch the file so we already have it installed it, it it's really nothing uh, to install but there it is. One of the questions you might be thinking is, well, I don't want to install anything on the server, including a debug tool. Yeah, so don't. This is on my Windows 11 machine, and I've already copied the debug files that we were looking at to my local computer. As you can see right there, there's uh, three of the four debug files. So now the question is, how do you open them? Well, it's not uh, hard. It's not obvious. I would think it's file open source file, but it's not. It's file so we'll just click file in the top left hand corner and under start debugging, you'll see open dump file. And then you browse and find the dump file you want. Let's open this one. And it will grind through pretty fast and give you a bit of information. Uh, and what you need to do is click this link. There we go, which is analyze. Now looking through here, you'll see there's a bunch of uh, otherwise sort of gibberish, but you can see, in my case, the faulty module is Agile VPN. And if you're not familiar with Agile VPN, and why would you, by the way, uh, it is part of Windows. It's actually part of our RAS, so routing and remote access services. In our case, what's been happening is this driver has been causing it to blue screen, which is kind of obnoxious. Now, you can click on the file. You can click on the link, I should say, not the file. And it will tell you a little bit more about it. It'll tell you where it is. It'll tell you the date on it. And now I don't have an answer, but I do know where to go to find the answer, which is I could then Google agilevpn.sys, which is the actual file here. And how do I fix it? And by the way, just because you're here, I'll tell you how. Uh, what you're supposed to do is run a health check or a system file checker or both. So, so you can see here uh, the command which we'll put in the article. It is dism slash online slash uh, cleanup dash image slash restore health. Restores any system files that are missing or corrupt from the C Windows Win SXS folder, uh, which is a local cache. There's also the system file checker you can run. So SFC slash scan now. And those are your two easy solutions to fix the agile vpn.sys problems. That's about that. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. Also, subscribe's great. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urteth. 
That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below, and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.